The All Blacks are taking the rugby to the small parts of New Zealand today as we have another edition of One Off What If here for you. We're at Trafalgar Park in Nelson for what will, will something people will probably never see in their life ever happen on a real rugby field. So hello everyone, welcome along to Cornflakes Crib for this special edition, as always, One Off What If. It's like a special series. It's for special requests, and it's for you. It's for you to tell me your special word of the day. Special requests in the below. Tell me who you want to see. Players, teams, like this one, all the above. And anything you want to see, anything at all. Players, teams, grounds, you name it. I'll play it. Anyway, we're here at Nelson, and we're here for a special request. I'm going to use that word as much as possible. For I Love Rugby Challenge. All, all big caps. All one word, so I love rugby challenge. Say it fast and loud. This is for you, my friend. This one intrigued me. It's a fairly recent request, but it's an intriguing con uh, contest. As always, you request it on the highest difficulty. Just to let you know, anyone know, all the matches I play here are on the highest difficulty. They're on pro, and the offloads and passing success, that sort of stuff, is down a touch. I did put my, um, my settings on a match. Uh, a wee while ago for someone who asked for them so check that out if you want to know exactly what I'm playing but that, that, that might be explaining why we play so crap most of the time but at least it's a bit exciting so it's Germany versus your Blacks and here is Germany and I must say looking at their team before the match well they, they've got no hope really like this is this is a mis mismatch of highest degree these guys rate about 40s the top player, the number eight there, he averages, he, his rating is 60. He is easily the best player. No one else is really in the 50s on the rating. If you play the game, you know what I mean. So this team is a bit of a mismatched team. They'll need to rely on their forwards to do a lot of their work. And it's going to be a lot of tackling for Davies, Pagnon, Jordan, Frank, Bayer and Tussock, the back line. And a lot of hard work for the forward pack as they're coming up against, well, their worst nightmare as a rugby player. And need I say any more, a full strength. No holds barred All Black side coming at Germany. And, well, you know the All Blacks, this is as good as it gets. They could play a C team and it would compete, well, it would be way too good for Germany in any normal day. But this is a rugby challenge day. And this is the one-off What If series, your series live, uninterrupted, full commentary here for you on Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge. Don't look anywhere else, you'll be disappointed as kickoff is about to get underway for Germany. Here it comes, here it comes, the big mismatch of the season here at Trafalgar Park and Nelson as the kickoff is taken from Whitelock and he takes it to ground for the first breakdown. Smith off the back, nice pull. Here come the All Blacks already through Carter. Carter thumping it for the corner. This could be interesting if it doesn't go out. Is it going to go out? Germany are praying it goes out. Oh, and it does. And you'll notice the two people first there were both All Blacks. Vito was one of them. The Germans uh, have a decision to make. Not a hard one particularly. A scrum just a couple of meters out. Well, they probably should have taken the scrum. It probably wasn't a bad idea. But they're taking the 22. And they'll thump it away. The crowd goes silent as the match gets back underway. Down it goes for Nonu who gives it to Conrad Smith looks on the outside Conrad and gets taken into touch beautifully from Germany and Germany are holding their own at the moment with a brilliant job it's 0-0 and 10 minutes are just about up here is a chance for the Germans to get the ball line out straight to the front turned over from Romano now there's tackle time for Germany here comes Vito straight through a couple gives it off to Jane Jane frees it out for Carter who gets hit pretty hard he gives it back out to Messam big loopy pass for Nonu straight for the posts he scored Frank coming across couldn't stop him Menzel couldn't do anything about it and it's well first points for the All Blacks Nonu scoring the Germans look distraught they were doing pretty well, but things got a bit broken. They got a bit messy. Sevilla did a no-look over the head. 
Miracle ball to Nonu. Jane was even involved on the other side. And poor old Germany tries they may. Valiant, no doubt, to the very end. But they can seek the first one for Nonu. Who will look to get some much needed confidence after his appalling season for the Highlanders this year. It's Carter. Carter on the field. Kicking here. Trafalgar Park in the pouring rain. The, the city with the most sun hours, apparently, in the country. We hear in the pouring rain. It's Germany looking to kick it back off through Davies. Need some ball here, Germany. What can they do? They go up. Big, big kick. Big chase, too, from Kastner, who nails Mialamu in a good tackle. Germany looking for the ball. Here's a chance for them. Can't do it. Still there. New Zealand still have it. Aaron Smith off the back to the left. Into touch. He looks to kick it. No, it doesn't go. Tusk, oh, Tusk doesn't want a bar of it. And he lets it go into touch. Germany after some set piece play. Here comes the line out. 15 gone. New Zealand only ahead by seven. Oh, stolen ball from Romano again. And here's trouble. Here's Sevilla. Sevilla's far too quick. He just about outruns the whole defence. Then fires a shocking pass. And the All Blacks just managed to recover. And here they go again. This could be a try for Mialamu. Mialamu on the backs. Jordan. Oh, Bayer gets smashed. And Mialamu will score on there. Yeah. An amazing try. Spectacular try from Mialamu. 12-0. And boy, oh boy. Look at this. Look at this attacking. Look at that. Go through one. Look at this one. Boom. Get out of the way. Massive from Mialamu. So much power. Attempt, attempt, and boom. Oh, ho, ho, ho. poor old Germany. Can't buy a trick. They haven't touched the ball. And they're down 12 0 with a kick to come. Right out in front for Carter. 20 gone, just about. Carter nails the kick. Too easy. And Germany. Well, they knew it was going to be tough. And Davies. Oh, he's going to kick off again. He needs to go a bit shorter for his players to get to the ball. Here it comes now. Now that's too short. Now it's got 10. Oh, brilliantly picked up from Romano. And away he goes. Tussock short ball. Oh, to Sevilla. And shut the gate. Sevilla will be away for try number three. Oh, that is unfortunate for Germany. They did a, such a good job to even look like that kick was going to go to one of their players. And Sevilla burns down and scores a try. Amazingly taken from Romano, and then the short ball. Sad fact there is Romano broke out of that tackle anyway. And it seems to be too much time spent under their own sticks with Germany. I thought they might have put a bit of fight up in this. But this is a massive mismatch. Massive mismatch. Severe, far too fast. Three times quicker than most of these German players. And that really showed. He streaked away there far too easily, far too fast. And in the pouring rain, Carter will take kick number three. With ease. Over it goes. No exciting finish in line here today, folks. The Germans uh, are just sinking. So Davies, can you get it right this time? He's going to get a lot of kicking practice, that's for sure. That one looks a bit better for Jordan. Jordan's there waiting for it. Oh, and Keston's got it. He's got it to Bayer. They need to keep this ball alive, do Germany. They've got it now. Oh, this is good stuff. But no, loose ball. Loose ball. Here come the All Blacks again. Picked up, though, from Caruso. Here come Germany again. Jordan, big pass out to Davies. The first five for Frank. Frank gets hit hard. Nicely for Acosta. The big number seven. Here's Pangon. Oh, he throws out the back. Here's Menzel. Oh, Menzel was away on the left. He had a bit of room. And that is exciting stuff from Germany. Looking to get themselves in the match. Menzel, he had one man to beat. It was Woodcock, the prop. He couldn't get away from him. He knocked it on. And now it's a scrum. Oh, massive scrum from the All Blacks. Oh, decimating the German scrum as Aaron Smith goes short side. 
for Jane. Throws it back in for McCaw. And here comes Nono again. Massive room out here for Carter. It's Carter on Bayer. He just swiggles his way out of it. Puts it away to Reed on the left side. And Reed will score from the set play of the scrum. Too easy for the All Blacks again. Too much speed. And they've got another try. Kieran Reed. Carter thought he might go himself. Some good defense on Carter. Took two men. Still didn't really stop him. And Reed on the end of it. Too easy for them. <laughs> it is proving to be the mismatch we predicted. But Germany, such excitement when they get the ball. Everyone's there, the All Blacks. Too much support. The Germans are all lying on the ground. And Kieran Reed gets another try. It's 26 to nil. It's nearly half time. If they can restrict New Zealand to four tries in the first half, that might not be a bad result for the Germans. This is team building stuff for them. As, well, maybe he'll look to change his tactics here. And he does, Davies. He's listening to me down there. Good, good kick. Jordan's picked it up. Oh, and Jordan's been nailed. And Germany. Oh, here we go, Germany. Vito's going to see some time in the bin for that poor, poor shoulder tackle. Shoulder charge from Vito. He smashed Jordan. He did well. Took it. Oh, mismatch of men's size. Look at that. And Germany have come to play. Davies. Oh, Davies, what a kick. Germany are warming into their work here. Need this line out. Really need this line out. Here it comes. Look for Jordan at the front. He claims it. Germany, Menzel, Frank. What can they do here? Davies. Big pass out for Pagnon. He gets it out. Oh, there's an overlap. Overlap for Jordan. And Germany will score. Oh, that, that is an amazing effort from Germany. That is what everyone has come to see. The Germans put on a set-piece display and get themselves an overlap and score the try. Peter Jordan amazing work simply superb look at those lines they're running this is just oh paperwork tactics that is exactly what they practice on the training room and it has come off for them oh simply amazing look at this this is a joy to behold highlights real stuff for German rugby for years to come that man will be a cult hero in Germany now for anyone who follows the rugby. Here's a chance for Davies. Can he score some points? Two points against the All Blacks will secure his retirement for life. Here, what's he got? Davies. The kick on the 22. Oh, no. No, 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 Davies. That's a really bad kick. Really bad from Davies. But he's played such a great part in that play just to score that try is a huge effort and they've kept them to four New Zealand they'll be happy they've only scored four tries they've scored one of their own Germany you have to give them props for the effort it's 28-5 and they're not really in this game but they're putting up a good fight they've had 39% of the ball that really only consists of two times that they've had it they had a good dig at it too. And they scored a try. Two line breaks. They will take this stuff to the grave. The Germans, this is oh, just memorabilia for them. Amazing. 15 offloads. They're keeping up. And they're doing a fairly good job. Vito is still in the bin. They're a man up. And they've got a massive chance to get some more points if they can keep the ball in play. Vito will be back in about... About six minutes, I'd say, as Carter will look to kick off. Second half of live uninterrupted Germany versus New Zealand as oh, Aaron Smith takes it off straight away. And here goes Conrad Smith bombing it in the air. What have the Germans got? Oh, nicely taken from Menzel. Oh, but poorly, poor pass. And it is picked up from Vito. Is he back on? He shouldn't be back on yet. Oh, controversy. Vito should not be on the field. He has not seen out his 10 minutes of legitimate time. And he has scored a try straight away. Oh, Menzel did the job, did the work. And then three Germans missing the ball. Vito busting out of three tackles. 
but he shouldn't even be on the park. He was sent off in about the 44th or 46th minute. Uh, 30, 34th or 36th. And he's back on. Oh, this is disappointing stuff from the officials. Really, a match like this, you don't want to try and cheaty away things here. Carter's going to take the kick, but Vito, give him 15 minutes without you on the field. Give them a chance to even play in this match. It's disappointing stuff. Carter's kick's good. It's 35-5, but well, Germany, I feel they've been robbed here of a huge opportunity. Sure, they've got the try, but you got to feel for the Germans. Davies kicks off. It's a decent little kick here from Davies. Players are all there. Oh, and it's not 10 metres. It's about 9.5, 9.95 even. And Davies, well, things just couldn't get worse for the poor Germans. Oh, but they could get better. A massive hit from the German scrum, and they have the ball. Menzel at the back. He goes to the left. He's looking for support. He's got Frank. Frank's got a couple of men with him. He's got Kasten out the back door. Could have been a great play. Didn't come off. But the Germans, oh boy, they're coming to play and they will not die wondering. So line out for Mialamu. What have the Germans got? Can they steal another piece of bread? Here it comes. No. wylock has got it. Pass back for Sevilla. Stepping. Sevilla, good pass. Out for Reed. Wobbly old run from Reed and no one wants it. Germany are up on it. That's a forward pass. Vito is really not playing to the rules here at all. New Zealand going backwards. Is it a forward pass? Germany are really into this now. Getting into their work, the Germans. Forward pass. Here it comes. There was one earlier as well. Not called, but it's going to be a scrum. Menzel has it. Germany, just about 20 metres out. Can they win their own ball? This would be a huge effort if they could win their own ball. They've turned over an all-black scrum. They've scored a try. They've nearly done it all. Oh, but the all-blacks get a big hit on in the end, and they're going to turn it over. Oh, poor old Germany. They battled so hard. Away they go. Oh, and a bit of sweet revenge on Conrad Smith. Oh, and Menzel. Just take two minutes on the sideline, Menzel. That's a, a poor call, ref. Disappointed in you. This whole thing has been a fiasco. The Germans coming to play some rugby. And they're getting treated like they're playing men in cotton wool. The kick is out from Carter. Big thumper too, 40 metres upfield. And well, poor old Germany. They played their hearts out here. Mialami with the throw in. What have they got? What have Germany got? Have they got something else in their sleeve here? No. Back to McCaw at the back. Throws it back into uh, to Aaron Smith. That looked forward. Still there for Franks. He takes it off the back. He goes through about three men who try to hang on. Now it's trouble. Reed taken. Oh, taken nicely in a good tackle. He wasn't letting go. Germany. Oh, they dig into this more. This rock. Look at this. Oh, they can't quite get a hold of it. Still there for Whitelock. Short ball up. Mialamu gets bear hugged. Nonu. Nonu. Bodging through. Oh, bodging through for Whitelock. Too much pace for the inside centre. It's 40 to 5. Oh, Germany. You've got a feel for them here. It's pretty bad when a lock has more pace than a centre. Nonu, good ball, but oh, the fullback diving all over the field. And this is a rollicking, as you'd expect. But the Germans, they've put up a good fight. They've had a couple of chances. And things just haven't gone their way. New Zealand's a yellow card, lasting about four minutes or six minutes. And the Germans one will probably go for about 30 as Carter will line up a kick. 63 gone. There's still time here. Carter nails his kick, as you'd expect. I don't know why they even show that. It's 42 to 5. Have the Germans got their man back? No, they don't. Things going from bad to worse for the poor Germans as Davies kicks off again. It's a bit deeper this time. Jordan chasing hard. Oh, he got it too. Oh, and he was looking for Frank. Can't find him. Oh, chances on that left-hand side. A couple gone begging, but it'll get their man back. 
The halfback is back on the field. And that'll be a welcome addition for them. As Mialamu throws in another line out. Had a few of them already. Here it comes. For the front to Whitelock. Easily claimed. And he's taken down. Good tackle from Germany. They dig in there quickly. And it's thumped away. Into touch. By Aaron Smith. Is that taken back? I think it might have been. I think it's been taken back. Oh, it's outside the 22 to start with. And the Germans have a line out throw. Here it comes. Taken at the front. Claimed nicely. They're going to take it to ground from the line out. Oh, they're going to struggle to keep it. Oh, they are. They're going to lose it straight away, Germany. Oh, that's so disappointing. Aaron Smith takes it off the back. Goes through three tackles. Make that four. Gets nailed. Huge hit from Germany. Still can't get them the ball. Short side again from Reed. Trying to get his way through one. Can't get it past. And he's into touch. 73 gone. German with a line out. Poor throw. Straight to the New Zealand player at the front, Romano. And not throw. New Zealand have the penalty. Time is ticking out here. Well, oh, yes, it was a poor throw. Cardo off the ball. Six minutes to go. What's he going to do? He's going to have another line out. Interesting call. New Zealand haven't really played to the fair rules of this match, that has to be said. Line out goes to Whitelock in the middle. Mr. Reliable, he's done that all day. Aaron Smith gets a short ball off the line out. And here come Germany again. Trying to get some tough guys in there. Mel oh, Menzel. Menzel's been smoked from Franks. Now the All Blacks bust away. Oh, great tackle from the chasing player. Jumping on his back. Still there though for New Zealand. Reed goes out to the right, to the oh, to the little corner for Smith. He's in touch. Great tackle. Oh, amazing tackle from the German player. They've really played their hearts out here, Germany. The full-time buzzer's gone. Another line-out nopping their strength. Oh, another illegal throw. They've really gone to sleep on these line-outs. Man, it's disappointing because the rest of their play has been fairly solid. They've competed at most facets. And New Zealand will have another penalty. What are they going to choose? Another line-out. So they're going for the set piece, New Zealand. They won't break 50. That'll please the Germans. They've only scored not many points. Straight to the back for McCaw. Guess it's Aaron Smith who thumps it into touch. Why not do that from the penalty? I don't know. But New Zealand have won it emphatically in the end. Germany, though, have a new hero with the try scorer. It could have got a couple. You have to give it to them. Full credit for the Germans here. They turned up. They played their hearts out and they put in a valiant performance. They should be proud of what they've achieved. New Zealand, well, they acted as if they were playing Australia or South Africa. They just, well, they just played as if it was a massive heated test match. They bent the rules as much as they could. Yellow card, that still irks me. He didn't get very long in the bin, did veto, and then scored a try straight away. That was disappointing. But looking at the bright side for Germany, New Zealand only scored two tries in the second half. So, they definitely improved as the match went on. They got a try. Jordan with an outstanding try. Germany were brilliant on that set play, creating an overlap on the right-hand side. That was a memorable occasion for the Germans. Davies missed the kick. That wasn't the best. And New Zealand, Mialamu, Whitelock, Vito, Reed, Sevilla, and Nonu. Six tries, six conversions. Probably should have run a bit more Rampton, you could say. 42 points. I think Germany will go home the happier side. Especially with only 30% possession to pretty much 70. Both teams getting a yellow card. And, well, handling errors despite the rain, relatively low. 8-6. to six. And that is the end of the match. 42-5, the Germans will be... They should be pretty happy. Despite the loss, they came and they played with their heart on their sleeve. They gave it their all. They scored a try. And they'll take that to the ends of the world. And maybe we'll, we'll maybe be seeing them at the World Cup in the future. Go the Germans. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this very special, very unique one-off what-if match. Germany versus the All Blacks. Maybe we'll see the Germans back. That's up to you. Let me know if you want to see the Germans. We have quite a few other lower place squads in international rugby in the, in the uh, roster as well. So if you want to see any, 
name them in the comments below and if we have them we'll play them so thanks for watching everyone we'll see you soon remember to give the video a like and a fave and give us a comment if you wanna and we'll see you all next time until then wherever we may be take care